In this video, I'm going to give you the full in-depth guide on how to use Canvas. Now, the first thing you need to know is you actually need to go into Google and just type in Canvas student. Like so, when you type in Canvas student login, you can actually see we can simply click on infrastructure, which is basically the website that Canvas operates on. And once you're on this, you simply want to log in. This is how you can access your Canvas whether it be for a student, a teacher, or whatever reason you're trying to access it for. And once you've actually claimed your Canvas account or created one through your school or program, whatever you're using it for, we brought to a dashboard that might look something like this. Now, it's not gonna look the exact same as mine, just because mine is a student dashboard acclimated to the school that I am currently at, but it'll look something like this. You'll have a few different classes in here once you've actually signed up using your email from your school or your teachers actually added you to the course class. So you should ask them if they have not already added you and you see nothing on the screen when you're logged in, which means you could be logged in with the wrong email or they just haven't added you yet. But once you're on the screen, which is called a dashboard, you can actually see we have a couple different options. We've got courses option here, which is basically just showing you a list of all your courses. The exact same thing as the dashboard, but just shows you more courses here calendar which is basically a built-in calendar where you can actually add events or view different due date assignments for different classes you can see right here I have it sorted by this one class only but you can actually uncheck it right here if you want to not see those assignments for that class and just see the assignments for another class like so and if you want to go in more in depth for the calendar you can click on week and actually see the different times and different days assignments are due and even agenda which is basically just a list a chronological list of events and dates that are due on your canvas calendar for certain courses and they'll just all be right here it's not just one course in particular and the next thing is actually called inbox which is basically your email now when it comes to inbox you cannot send emails elsewhere like outside of your school like if i wanted to send an email to my gmail email account not the one associated with my school i could not do that it's very limited to the amount of people that are in your school if we click on compose a new message up here you can actually see you can choose a different course that you want to send it to let's just say i want to change it to this course right here just send a message to this course you can actually choose the names and it will list you only the names that are actually in this course right here as well as only the students that are in this course right here if you want to send an email so you cannot send an email to elsewhere if you selected a course you can see if i tried to search something nothing will come up when i try to type in a random email or random name you cannot do that through canvas you can only send to the people that are actually like in the system in a way that are on like the canvas dashboard and etc and once you do that you can just write the normal email like this and simply click on send and you can even add an attachment it's just like a normal email or a video but you can only send it to a limited amount of people and that's basically all you can do with the email it's very handy just because it's very limited and very acclimated to the people that you actually want to email just because who else would you be emailing? You're just emailing the people that are in your class. And you can actually see all of my emails right here, just on the left-hand side of the page, which are basically just emails from different classes and you can easily respond. And it's just a really easy way to communicate. And the next tab, we actually have the history tab right here, which what this does is it will display a list of classes that you've actually looked at in the last three weeks that you might have joined. Now, if you want to join a Canvas class that may or may not be on your current page, you can see there's none on this list right here. You can actually go into Google over here and just type in Canvas classes to join. And you can actually just sign up through Canvas's website right here, which is called Infrastructure. Canvas Infrastructure classes to join. And you can actually scroll down and you can actually click on log into Canvas right here. And you can actually, when you log in right here, you can see in the top right hand corner, after you log in, there'll be a browse courses option, which you can actually join any of these courses in addition to the ones that you're currently in and they'll basically just show up on your history right there if you do want to join them or not but once you've done that you can actually go into the search option which is basically just a google search thing for the entire canvas including the assignments classes and just other things in general that are on canvas whether it be emails or etc like if i wanted to type in property which is an assignment that i am actually doing in one of my classes you can actually see it'll show you all of the words that have assignments associated with that word right here here and it'll even show you multiple pages it's just a really easy and quick way to find things if you're looking for a certain assignment or certain term in Pacific and when it comes to the help option it's basically just help and support 
You can basically report problems, get Hanvis hotline, and just see other notes in general on this page right here. Now, basically what it is, is it just help. Typically, you don't need that. I've never used that, to be honest, but it's another nice resource to have. And if we wanna go into our dashboard again and just look at our individual classes, you can see on the right-hand side of the screen, we have all these classes that you can actually view the due dates for. But if you wanna click on one of these classes right here, for example, you can actually go in and see Again, all of the assignments do on the right hand side of the screen, as well as this small calendar right here, which you can actually click on dates. But basically, when you click on this, it'll bring you to the introduction of the class. Now, it might bring you to just a list of assignments, depending on how the teachers actually laid out your Canvas dashboard. And as you can see on the left hand side, we have all of these individualized folders, basically just different sections where you can click on assignments, which is basically all of your assignments in order. It's even a drop down menu, as well as modules, which is in my situation just shows me a list of all the dates that's just how my teacher organized it announcements which is in general this is goes for all canvas classes will just show you all of the different announcements like upcoming events in this class now some teachers may or may not use this it really does depend and i recommend just fidgeting around on this page in general to actually get a layout for the land you know but if you want to submit assignment you just go to assignments or wherever assignment you're trying to submit click on it and you can actually see more information information for each assignment when you actually click on it like so and you can also see your grades when you scroll down here what you got right and incorrect like here I just got a bunch right and I got a few wrong as well but if you want to submit assignment once you are on the assignment you want to submit you just click on this big yellow button up here it's called submit assignment and you can drag upload or even write a text entry for your file depending on how the submission needs to be made and leave a comment and simply click on submit and that's all you do to submit assignments on canvas and if you interview your grade you simply go on to the grades page right here and you can actually view all of your scores and you can even click on it to change the score to like invisualize what score you could get let's just say i got a 50 on this you can see what your grade would be if you were to get that score so like it's just like a way to motivate and just have an idea for something that you want to aim when it comes to getting scores on canvas like so and you can see in the top right hand corner it will display this score right here and you can click on revert if you want to see your actual score for the class like you know like etc and at the bottom it'll just show you all of the different categories that points fall into what adds to your final grade in general as you can also see this by filtering it in different sections different grades right here you can actually click on apply to see your grade for different classes like so and yeah it's pretty dang easy to use another handy feature is we can actually get the canvas app it is really convenient easy to use and functions just like the website you can get it on your iphone and android and when you open it you'll be brought to this page right here where you simply want to either log in with your qr code or you can just find your school by clicking on this button here and once you're logged in you can see it basically functions the exact same way as the internet version does except it's just on your phone so it's a lot more convenient to respond to emails just via your calendar upcoming assignments and just all of that but just at your fingertips so yeah i highly recommend getting it and yeah just 